Tom Cruise is always finding new ways to top himself. In Mission Impossible, Ghost Protocol, he swung around on the world's tallest building in Dubai. In Rogue Nation, he clung to the side of a plane and held his breath underwater for about three to six minutes. Claims vary. He's taking it to another level in Fallout, the latest Mission Impossible movie. There was not one time in Mission Impossible Fallout that I used a stunt double on camera at any time in the movie. Uh, everything we did, it is Tom Cruise, 100%. In Fallout, he flies a helicopter through mountains in New Zealand and rides a motorcycle through the narrow streets of Paris. But the biggest feat, he actually jumped out of a plane. Cruz pulled off what is known as a halo jump. That stands for high altitude, low opening. This jump is used by the military to get into areas undetected. To achieve this, you jump from as high as you can, but then open your parachute as low as you can. In the scene, Ethan Hunt and his crew need to land safely, and sneakily, on a rooftop to get into an event in Paris. In reality, the sequence was shot in Abu Dhabi in the United Arab Emirates. According to the stunt team, Cruz is the first actor to do a halo jump on camera. Here's how they made the breathtaking sequence possible. Every mission movie creates new challenges. You've always got to make it bigger and better. This is Wade Eastwood. He was the stunt coordinator on Fallout. He also worked with Cruz on the last two mission movies, as well as The Mummy and Edge of Tomorrow. My job is to negate as much risk uh, from the stunt as possible without losing the visual spectacle. He helped get Cruz ready to pull off the most ambitious stunt of his career. To get him ready, they built a wind tunnel on set, one of the world's largest, for Cruz to train in. Cruz already had some experience in sport jumping, but he never did anything quite like this. In addition, Cruz jumped out of a plane a few times a day. Eastwood estimates that Cruz jumped more than 100 times on camera. Each part of that sequence had to be perfect, and we got 99% close on so many takes, but there was definitely more to give. The crew developed a special helmet for Cruz that both allowed them to film him properly and make sure he could breathe at that altitude. With a regular Halo helmet, you wouldn't be able to tell who it was under the mask. It would have a light source so we could actually see the characters in the air, otherwise you can't see the, 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 the expression, the pain, the, the tension, the jeopardy. Cruz battled factors such as motion sickness and general exhaustion from jumping out of a plane so many times. Not to mention, Cruz performed this stunt with a broken ankle. He broke it while filming a chase scene in London. They had only a limited window to get this stunt right. The camera operator jumped out of the plane as well, with a camera on his head. They plunged about 25,000 to 26,000 feet in the air. Eventually, they captured the perfect shot. The fact that they actually did it in real life, instead of in front of a green screen, is significant. The benefit of shooting the Halo Jump for real is not to cheat the audience. You can watch modern movies out there and you can see the fake actor in a wind tunnel or on wires with special effects fans blowing them and the camera can only move in certain ways and the green screen burn is a little bit weird on one side. And it's not only cheating the audience but the actors are cheated on, on their performance um, and they can't deliver that intensity that you see when you watch this uh, Halo sequence. It's, it's intense because it's real. One thing is certain, Tom Cruise never phones it in. Mission Impossible Fallout comes out on July 27th, 2018.